How often do you look at your dogs and wonder what they're thinking, especially after they eat your shoes, steal table scraps, or can't stop ripping the fuzz off of the tennis balls? This happens to me every time I buy one. Joining us today is Jeremy Greenberg, MSN.com's parenting blogger, comedian, and author of the book, Sorry I Pooped in Your Shoe, and other heartwarming letters from Doggy. So good to see you. We first introduced you to our viewers back in the spring. Um, your first book in this kind of series, yes. Sorry I Peed on You, was about kids. Yes. This one is from the perspective of the dog to his or her owner. That's right. My dog actually, while I was writing Sorry I Peed on You for kids, which people really enjoyed, my dog came up to me and said, what about us? Uh -huh. uh, we're a very important part of people's lives, and so I looked at my dog Dagny. I said, "You know, you're right." And so she told me to write this book, and I did. And was Dagny the inspiration for a lot of these stories, or how'd you come up with the content? Because there are a you know tons of letters in here. Yes, uh, yeah, and each letter sort of tries to describe some of the crazy things that the dogs do, like from stealing our shoes or, you know doing something on a lawn, rolling on something that's putrid, and most of it just comes from being a dog owner and a dog lover and having experienced most of these things. I would have a few friends say, oh, my dog did this, you gotta get a picture, so, but pretty much that's how I came up with the ideas. So, and can I tell you that this is perfect timing because I made Christmas cookies over the weekend, and my dog Bella not only ate, stole two of them off the table, but, but proceeded to spread chocolate all over my white carpet. Yeah. And I looked at her and it was like, well, what? I couldn't help myself. I mean, it's yeah. funny to think about what they're thinking. Yeah, and really it is because the looks they give us are like, oh, that was yours? Like sometimes it's the most completely <laughs> yeah. innocent. Like you made the cookies and the dog knows. That if you, There's great YouTube videos of, did you open this package of, of it's some like uh, peanuts and dog makes a guilty face. So uh, they do know, but a lot of times they play like, oh no, I just thought I could have that because I can reach it. You know? What about, there's this one story in here uh, and I'll just show this this page, talking about nicknames. Yeah. And, and this dog is just fed up with the fact that his name is Mr. Peanut and that is not what he's called. No. Oh, and, and dogs, if we all have our nicknames, you don't, Bella, right? Yes. Uh, would you call her all sorts Bella of... Bella Baby, Smella. Be yes. My pretty. Yes. She um, probably hates it. <laughs> no, she probably loves anything, to be honest, with her name uh, or doggy. They respond to those things. But uh, no, my dog, we call her, uh, her name is Dagny, call her Dagny Dingle Dog and all that. And so just a just little sample. Sure. Dear beloved pack leader, why am I so grumpy? Because despite my name clearly being Mr. Peanut, just as it says on my tag, you and the rest of the pack repeatedly laugh as you call me Mr. P. Diddy Dingleberry, <laughs> Nutsy P. Nutter, Mr. P. Peanut, the vet oh. cut off his peanuts, Mr. Peanuts of popcorn, Mr. P. has gone nuts, and perhaps the worst of all, Mr. Allergic to peanuts. <laughs> that poor dog. I can understand why he's perturbed by that. Yeah. Jeremy, thank you so much. This is a great book. It's 10 bucks cool gift, stocking stuffer. If you'd like to get a copy, sorry I pooped in your shoe, we'll post more information on our Newslings page at NBC15.com. Good to have you in. Thanks, Lee.